What's up guys, Dr. Jacob Gooden here, and in this video we are going to talk about the three types of muscle contraction. But not every muscle action is the same. Sometimes the muscle shortens, concentric, sometimes it lengthens under tension, eccentric, and sometimes it creates tension but there's no movement, and that would be isometric. So let's dive in a little deeper and take a look at each one. Okay, so we're talking about muscle actions today, and specifically the three types. The first one we'll talk about is concentric, and then we'll move on to eccentric, and finally, isometric. Now recall that the different types of muscle actions have to do with whether the muscle is shortening under tension, lengthening under tension, or holding tension without any movement. So let's consider then the elbow joint. Okay, so let's draw out the bones of the upper arm and the forearm. We have the humerus and the radius and the ulna. And it looks like my elbow here is partially flexed because the biceps brachii is contracting concentrically. Now when this muscle contracts, what's actually happening is we have all of the individual contractile units of the muscle, all of these sarcomeres, they're actually shortening. And as they shorten, they're creating what we call a torque. Torque is a rotational force specifically on a joint. Now in this first example, we have the biceps brachii. It's shortening. The sarcomeres are pulling the Z-discs together because the actin and myosin filaments are creating cross bridges, going through the power strokes, and pulling those Z-discs together. When you have a whole series of sarcomeres doing the same thing and shortening, now you have concentric contraction, concentric muscle contraction. So the angle of the elbow is actually closing, which is flexion. We're bringing the forearm closer to the upper arm, and that muscle is shortening. When the muscle shortens, the Z-discs are getting pushed together and it's actually going to bunch up in the belly of the muscle. That's why when you flex to try to show off your massive guns, you flex in a flexed position at the elbow so that that muscle bunches up and it looks bigger. Okay, so concentric muscle action, the muscle is shortening under tension. Now, eccentric is the exact opposite. So I'm just going to duplicate this, bring it down here, but we have to make some adjustments to it. Now, in this case, our muscle is going to be lengthening under tension. So instead of getting all bunched up, it will be elongating as those fibers are stretched. And in this case, gravity is actually overcoming the force of the muscle. Now, I drew this arrow pointing roughly downwards, not because the muscle is producing force downwards, but rather because gravity is producing a greater force pulling the forearm down than the muscle is pulling back. And finally, we have isometric. Now, in isometric, the muscle force and the resistive force will be the same. Now the torque created by the muscle at the joint is the same as the torque created by the resistive force at the joint. And I should specify up here on the concentric drawing that the torque created by the muscle is greater than the torque created by the resistive force. And then down here, when we are looking at this isometric muscle action, those two torques on the joint are equal. So the biceps brachii cannot overcome the resistance created by whatever is in the hand or whatever the forearm is attached to, right? So if you were to go up to maybe underneath a counter that's bolted in, or maybe it's some sort of a granite counter that's built in to the kitchen and you're to try to lift as much as hard as you could, that counter is not going anywhere, right? And your biceps brachii is 
pushing, 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 but it's not actually changing length. In reality, some of those sarcomeres are actually changing length as others take over, some lengthen while others shorten, but the whole muscle actually doesn't change length during an isometric contraction. Okay, so concentric muscle actions, the muscle shortens, the sarcomeres shorten, the Z discs come together, and the muscle is the agonist of the movement. Eccentric actions, the muscle lengthens, the Z discs come apart, those sarcomeres are stretched even though they are trying to contract and they're developing tension, but in this case the muscle is the antagonist because the motion that's performed, the muscle does the opposite, it slows down that motion. And finally, isometric muscle contraction is where the muscle does not change length. There is no change in length, isometric, and the resistive torque and the muscle torque is equal at the joint, okay? So those were the three types of muscle action. Practice them on yourself using a bicep curl. That's the, probably the easiest one to conceptualize. As you're curling the weight up, it's concentric. Pause there for a peak contraction. That's isometric. Lower it down slowly. That's eccentric. And then pause at the bottom with the muscle tense, and that's, again, isometric. If you pause in the middle, that's also isometric, okay? Practice those. I'll catch you guys on the next video.